When I was about nine years of age, I used to bunk off school and go and help this local plumber. He had a motorbike, he had a car, he had holidays, he had a nice house, he had nice clothes, and he had bundles of money. If ever the seeds were sown, it was then. I mean, if he was a bank robber, I'd have been a bank robber. But fortunately, he was a plumber. As soon as I finish my apprenticeship, I become self-employed, I think, the next week. Get this phone call one day from this estate agent to come and do a job for me, emergency job. And I sort of said to him, look, I will be here within the hour. He was pretty impressed with that. He said, most people don't turn up on time. You used me a couple of more times. And then one day, I had a phone call that changed my life. It was the estate agents again. And he said, in my building in the basement, there's a room become available, do you want to rent it off me? Everything was going through my mind, I'm thinking, can I afford it? You know, I'm thinking, why does a plumber want an office? And then he sort of went, OK, then I presume you don't want it. And I went, no, I do want it. And that was it. And it all started, like, clicking into place. I'm there and I go out working. I got known as the Pimlico plumber. All of a sudden, I'm getting busy, busy, busy. One of the customers said to me, you need more people. Put an advertisement out for plumbers. 99% of them, I won't put them in charge of a broom. Went through loads of different ones, found a couple of good ones, got them in the uniform, got them my way of thinking. Where we are today, we employ something like 220 people. We have 160 vans on the road. We turn over 20 mil. I always say to everybody, in my top 10 things I've ever done in my life, one is becoming a plumber. A second one is taking that phone call. Would have I have been a successful plumber? Yes. Would have I had Pimlico plumbers? No. If there's an opportunity you see, take it on board and do something with it.